Now from the tracing, the first one is class index entry. So it is copied down from the tracing section, the word geology which is written in the horizontal line starting from first vertical and then comes the directing section as we have seen in detail in the first title page which starts from the second vertical and continuation goes to the first vertical and the last section you have to mention the class number for the word which is written on the horizontal line and then comes author index entry number 1 which is copied down from the tracing section starting from the first vertical and continuation also goes to the first vertical. So in the first section that is in the leading section we are copying down the author's name and in the second section for the author's approach we are copying the title of the document and in the third section we are giving the index number it is nothing but the call number H is the class number and N35 is the book number and for author index 2 is also written in the same way only thing this name comes in the first place and the rest of the information is same like this. Now let us see the example for more than two authors according to triple C you are allowed to use only up to two authors if it is by more than two authors we are going to copy down only the principal author and use the word and others. So let us see the example for the above title page class number as usual is written on the first vertical line which is X and by leaving few spaces the book number is written as N62. Here there are three authors given in that. The principal author is Howard's Dye. So Dye is the entry element. So we have written that name Dye in capital letters starting from second vertical and the rest of the names within parenthesis and we have used the word and others. So it begins from the second vertical and continuation goes to the first vertical. So this is the way of writing the author's name if we have more than two authors and then comes the title section as usual is only the title is given in this title page we have written starting from the second vertical and there are no other information for this title page like series information. So we have written the given accession number in the bottom most line of the card starting from the first vertical and the tracing section for this main entry is given here. The first one is your class index entry which is given for the class number economics and leave a line and go for the book index. We copy it from the heading section of the main entry. So we have copied down the author's name as such that is die within parenthesis hovers and others as there is no space to continue we have left two space in the next line and taken the continuation and to do the added entries you have to do in the same way how we have done it for title page 1 and 2. That means for the economics class index entry you have to use the directing words which starts as like for documents in this class and give the index number below and then for author index entry you are going to copy the same wordings in capital letters in the horizontal line and give the title in the second section. So this you can do it by looking into the title page 1 and 2. Now example for collaborator as author. That means if a document is given without an author's name, we are going to consider the collaborator as author. So in the heading section we are going to use the collaborator's name. So as usual in the horizontal line that is in the leading section we have written the class number which is J and leaving space we have given the book number which is N64. And here instead of an author we have only the editor's name. So we have considered the editor as author. The writing format of the name is same just like an author. Entry element which is Robinson in capital letters and the rest of the names within parenthesis D, H without any full stop in between. And now we are going to use the descriptive element to show that this person is not an author, it is an editor. To show the descriptive element it is connected by a comma and the descriptive element is used in an abbreviated form which is ed dot underline. And then comes the title section which is written starting from the second vertical and after the title there is no subtitle so we have gone for the edition. Here we have got only the number of the edition it is given as 14th edition but while writing it should be given it as ed4 as there is no space continuation of the same title section is taken to the first vertical line and there is no information about the series 
and the last section is our assertion number which is written in the bottommost line of the card starting from the first vertical. Now let us see the tracing section for this main entry. The first one is your class index entry given for the particular class number which is agriculture and then comes the author index. Here the collaborator is considered as the author index. It is written in the same way Robinson D H comma E D dot underline and there is no title index entry because this is not a fanciful title or proper noun title. And now from this tracing we have to do two added entries, one for the class index entry which is agriculture and the other one is for author index which is Robinson D H E D. And the added entry you have to do in the same way like how we have done in the previous title pages. Now let us see the example for joint collaborators. Just like an author, you are allowed to use only up to two collaborators. If it is by more than two collaborators, we have to use the word and others and then go for the descriptive element. Let us see the worked out example. First in the horizontal line, we have written the class number starting from the first vertical, leave few space and copy down the book number which is P0. And then below to the horizontal line, we are writing the heading section that is the author's name. Here instead of an author, we are taking the collaborator as author. So we are starting from the second vertical and writing the author's surname in capital letters and within parenthesis the rest of the names are initial and you have to use the word and others because in this title page we have more than two collaborators. So we have taken the first author that is Rajashegaran as our main collaborator. That is why we have written that Rajashegaran in capital letters and then used the word and others comma the descriptive element is used in abbreviated form that is ed dot underline and then comes the title section where we have copied down the title. In this case also there are no other information except the title. So we have written the last section which is the assertion number starting from the first vertical. From this main entry we are doing the tracing section. The first one is your class index entry which is derived from the given class number that is C denotes the subject physics. So the class index entry is physics and leave a single line and go to the book index entry where we are copying down the author index entry. The author's name we are copying it from the heading section of the main entry. As there is no space, the continuation is taken by leaving two space in the next line. In this case, the title is introduction to physics. This is either the fanciful title nor the proper noun title. So we cannot have a title card that is title index entry. So in this tracing section, we have got only two in index entries. The one is the class index entry and the next one is the author index entry. And hope you know to do the added entries with the help of the previous examples. Now let us see an example for the government corporate author. Not like personal author, for government corporate author, we are going to copy down all the given authors in the heading section. So that is the main difference between the personal author and corporate authors. And how to write the corporate authors? For the government corporate author, the country's name should be taken as a principal author and the given rest of the authors should be taken according to the hierarchy. Now for the above example, let us do the main entry. As usual, the class number is written starting from the first vertical and then the book number by leaving few spaces towards the edge of the card. The class number is T4.44 and book number is N62. And now comes the heading section which is written below the horizontal line starting from the second vertical. In the title page, the author is given as Government of India and Ministry of Education. Here the country name is represented as the main author and we can write only the entry element which denotes the geographical name. That is why we have taken the word India as the principal author and then by using the comma we are going for the second author which is Ministry of Education. Here the word Ministry of Education we have to find out which one denotes the sphere of activity. Here the word education denotes the sphere of activity. So the sphere of activity stands for entry element which is written in capital letters. So we have used the word education in capital letters and the rest of the remaining words within parenthesis. 
as the word ministry of is not completed we have used a hyphen in case instead of ministry of education if it is given as education ministry in that case also we are going to use the word education in caps but within parenthesis ministry without the hyphen because it is a completed word and then as usual the title section starting from the second vertical and continuation to the first vertical in this title page we don't have any other information except the title so we have returned the assertion number in the bottom most line of the card starting from the first vertical now let us go to the tracing section first we are going to do the class index entry from the given class number here the class number is t4.44 hope you know to do the chain procedure as you are already familiar with colon classification t stands for main class education and 4 which is taken from fuzzy in p which stands for university and then dot stands for space isolate and 44 for india that is 4 is Asia and 4 for India. While doing the tracing section, we should always start from the bottom, that is from the last number of the class number. So, 4 for India and 4 university and T education. So, all these three comes as class index number 1. As there is no space, we have taken the continuation to the next line by leaving two space. And then second class index for university and education that means we have left the space isolate and we have taken the fuzzy in P which is university and education and third class index stands for the main class alone which is education. So in this example we have three class index, class index 1 is India university education and class index 2 university education, class index 3 education alone. And after the class index, leave single line and go for the author index. Author index is copied down from the heading section of the main entry. So, India, Education, Ministry of, once again there is no space. So, continuation is taken by leaving two space. And the added entries for all these has to be done just like any other added entries. So, totally you are going to have four added entries, three for class index and one for author index. For class index, we are going to use the directing words and for author index, you are going to use the title in the second section. So far you have studied how to catalog books. Besides books, library subscribes learned journals and periodicals. In fact, periodicals are the backbone of the research and special libraries. It is published regularly at definite intervals and may comprise of various issues which when cumulated give rise to volumes. Like any other document, periodical also has got main entry and the added entries while cataloging. The main entry of the periodical has got six sections just like the book material. The first section is leading section, the second one is heading section, the third one is periodicity and the fourth one is series or notes and the fifth one is holding in brief section and the last one is the tracing section. The difference between the book material and the periodical, if you look into that, the periodical we can give only the class number because it is not possible to give the year of publication as the volume comes from time to time. So in the leading section of the main entry, we are going to render only the class number starting from the first vertical in the horizontal line. And then comes the heading section where we give only the title of the periodical. Here in periodical it is not possible to give either the author or the editor or publisher's name in the heading section. So in the heading section we can write only the title of the periodical. But heading section consists of four types. The first one they call it as sponsor title. The second one title comma sponsor, the third one title within parenthesis sponsor and the fourth one is title alone. That means the first type of heading section, it begins with the sponsor name and ends with the title. Whereas in the second type, it begins with the title and we have to use a comma and copy down the sponsor. And for the third type, it begins with the title whereas the sponsor's name are rendered within parenthesis and in the fourth type, only the title alone is given how to render the heading section in the main entry. First two words from the title is written in capital letters and the rest of the words are in normal letters. We will see in detail with the examples with the 
exercises and then comes the periodicity section. In the periodicity section is always written within square bracket and the words what we are going to write follows as such. Within square bracket we are going to write 1 V per volume dot V1 hyphen some space semicolon and year of the commencement hyphen leave some space close the square bracket. This will become more clearer when we do the exercises in the further stage and then comes the series or notes section is just like book material it is written within parenthesis the name of the series, editor of the series and number of the series and holding in brief section it gives you the information about the number of volumes available in the particular library and the years for those volumes and then comes the tracing section as usual which is written on the back side of the main entry card. Now let us see an example for the periodical. The title page it is given as American Journal of Sociology and volume number 75 1969. First as usual we are going to start with the leading section. The leading section of the periodical you can write only the class number which is YM73. Even if the book number is given you cannot copy down the book number. So you have to remember that in the leading section you can write only the given class number and then comes the heading section. We have already seen in the theoretical aspects of periodical that in the heading section we have to copy down the title of the periodical. The title of the periodical here is American Journal of Sociology. There are four types of heading section that means you can have a sponsor and title. It can begin with the sponsor and ends with the title or begin with the title and ends with the sponsor or title alone. But here we have got only the title without any sponsor. In this case we have to copy down the two words from the title in capital letters that is the American journal in caps and the rest of the words in normal handwritten. So start from the second vertical and continuation to the first vertical. So this is the way of writing the heading section and comes the periodicity section which we have to write within square bracket starting from second vertical. That is one volume per year, volume 1 and volume 1 is 1895. In the title page, year is given for 75th volume as 1969. What we have to do? From the given year, we have to subtract the given volume and add 1. That is 1969 minus 75, you get 1894 and you have to add 1 as we require the year for first volume. So that is why it is 1895. So this is the periodicity section and then the next one is holding in brief section. Here we are giving the information about the available volumes in the library. Starting from the second vertical we are using the word this library has volume 1 to 75 and year for both the volumes that is volume 1 in the year of 1895 and volume 75 in the year of 1969. So this is the main entry of the periodical. And for this main entry, we are going for the tracing section. In the tracing section of periodical, we have got only class index entry. This is also divided into three parts. That is the upper part is meant for specific class index entry and the middle part is meant for generic class index entry and the lower part is meant for optional class index entry. Specific class index entry is nothing but the same information to copy it from the heading section of the main entry which we have done it here as American Journal of Sociology. As usual if there is no space continuation of the same index should be taken by leaving two space in the next slide. And then middle part is meant for the generic index entry. And the generic class index and the specific class index is related to one another. If we have got only one specific class index entry, we have to use only one generic class index entry. In the place of generic class index entry, we are going to use the word periodical and then comes the optional class index entry in the lower part. Optional class index entry has to do by the chain procedure for the given class number. So the given class number is YM73, 73 stands for United States of America. M is a common isolate for periodical and Y is for sociology. So we have done United States of America, comma, periodical and sociology and then next one periodical and sociology. 
for periodical we cannot make a main class subject that is the sociology if we prepare a class index just for the word sociology it can be mistaken for a book so for the periodical we have to always stop with the word periodical and the main class subject so we have got only two optional class index there are three class index one specific class index one generic class index and two optional class index totally four class index entries and so far we have seen only the right half of the tracing section for periodicals we have to use the left half of the tracing section also here we are mentioning the volume year book number and accession number which are taken from the holding section of the main entry so volume 1 in the year of 1895 and when it is converted as book number it is m95 and the given accession number is written keep three dots and go for the last volume which is 75 in the year of 1969 and the book number is n69 and the given accession number now from the tracing we are going to do the added entries the first added entry is specific class index entry as usual we are starting in the first vertical line the horizontal line in capital letters so the first two letters are written in caps and the continuation also goes to the first vertical not like the book material for periodical in the class index entry we have to give only the class number and not the directing words that means for periodicals we are not going to use the directing words in the class index entries so you are going to use only the horizontal line in first two words in caps and then immediately towards the right edge of the card you can copy down the given class number so this is specific class index the next one is generic class index in the tracing we have used the word periodical which is in capital letters starting from the first vertical and in the second section you have to give the title of the periodical which is American Journal of Sociology starting from second vertical and in the next section towards the right end of the card is the class number an optional class index is just like any other class index by using the chain procedure the first one is your USA periodical sociology and once again here we are not going to use the directing words so use only the class number which is YM73 and the next optional class index entry is going to be only the periodical and sociology so the number is going to be only YM we are not going to use the number 73 hope by now it's clear with all of you the rules of classified cataloging code now let us see very briefly just the rule of main entry card just recollect once again the structure of the cataloging card which has got two vertical lines and one horizontal line in the horizontal line we are going to write the leading section where we write the class number starting from first vertical leave two space and copy down the book number class number denotes the exact subject of the document book number denotes the year of publication below to the horizontal line we are going to write the heading section starting from second vertical first we are going to write the surname of the author in capital letters and within parentheses the rest of the names are we call it as a personal name, names which is our secondary element followed by the next parenthesis the individualizing element and if there is any description given to the author that is written presented by a comma in abbreviated form so you have to begin the heading section in the second vertical line and continuation comes from the first vertical line and the next section is our title section where we start once again from the second vertical and continuation from the first vertical first you are going to write the title omitting the articles if it is in the beginning and keep a colon go for subtitle as such and keep a dot copy down the edition information where you can have the number of the edition and the name of the edition keep a dot and then go for the collaborator and for collaborator just abbreviate the format of the collaborator and write the rest of the information as given keep a dot and go for the volume information where you can have information about completed volumes uncompleted volumes and missing volumes which we have already seen in detail the next section is our series section which is written within parenthesis starting from second vertical and the continuation from the first vertical within the parenthesis first you are going to write the series name by omitting the articles in the beginning just like the title and keep a dot go for the series editor where you write just ed by and the name of the editor as such and keep a dot and go for the number of the series just copy down the number close the parenthesis and then keep a dot 
and in the bottom most line starting from the first vertical copy down the given assertion number. So, keep it always in mind that call number is always written with pencil because it is liable to change whenever the classification system changes in the library. I would like to thank all of you for the cooperation extended to us and wish you all good luck for your examinations.